Hey, it's Crockett 36 and here we are playing some Global 1940. My board is still set up from the last game, <clears throat> but I have um, cleared a section for Russia and I have these, um, Russia is cloistered. Okay, so what do we have? We have $37 to spend and we are gonna spend it on a bomber. A little asymmetrical warfare there, plus eight infantry with one dollar left over all right uh we'll declare war on the japanese but we will not invade um and that's just going to involve me moving troops to the border i'll have 12 and two um actually i'll have 11 and two just to, to make sure you can't run wild okay so there you go. That's uh, the Eastern Front. Um, the subs, I think you're going to... This cruiser will come out. And that'll be fine. Um, the sub will stay back. Oops. All right. We're, we are going to move everything to uh, Belarus. All right, and the planes from Moscow are going to go to Yunnan. And the uh, tanks are going to go one and two to Kazakhstan from Moscow. And now um, Stalingrad tanks are going to go right into Xinjiang. These two... Actually, this, this mech is going to stay right there, actually, and it'll go down, go down to Caucasus. That makes sense? Mm, yep. Okay, and then these three are going to move to, and these two are going to move up to western Ukraine. There wasn't anybody, excuse me, there wasn't anybody in Bryansk. In Russia, the Russian troops go forward. I don't know if, excuse me, we have rails. If we had rails, I would send three up to um, Belarus. You know, I'm sorry, the, the Rostov troops and the Ukraine troops go to Bryansk. Um, well, that's weird. There should be two infantry here from Bessarabia. These troops fall back. Everybody else in Bryansk. So there should be the um, Moscow troops right here from Bryansk. I thought there was two Rostov troops. Rostov. Nope, Rostov does not have anything. So that is correct. Okay, so we would put down Um, we keep the fighter there. You know what? I will keep the six infantry there. Um, uh, because if he declares war, I want to build a bomb this factory. So I'm going to keep the six infantry there. Um, uh, yeah. And then I will place three infantry as well in there. And five infantry in, uh, actually three infantry in Ukraine. And blue tip. And two infantry in Moscow. Okay, so that would be it. Um, <clears throat> I had a dollar left over. I assume I get the same thing again. So this time I'd get $38. And so the recap would be Amor has 11 infantry, two anti-aircraft. And then um, Briacha has one infantry, 
and yet could has six infantry. Moscow has two infantry. Ukraine has uh, three infantry. Caucasus has two infantry and a mech. Um, actually, I'm going to move the two infantry to, to Rostov. Uh, and then um, yeah, Yunnan has a fighter and a diver. Uh, Sing King has a tank and a mech. Kazakhstan has a tank. And then Buryatia, I'm sorry, Bryansk has infantry, artillery from West Ukraine, three infantry from Ukraine, uh, infantry, artillery, two anti-aircraft from Russia, two, uh, West Ukraine has two infantry, uh, did I say U uh, Ukraine has three, and then Belarus has what looks like three and two from Baltic and East Poland, one from Archangel and one from State in Belarus, plus two artillery. Why is that two artillery? No, two anti-aircraft, which should actually stay in Leningrad, actually. So let's do it again. Um, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, seven infantry in Belarus plus an artillery, and then Leningrad has now six plus two from Karelia plus the two, three from Vyborg. So that's five and six is 11 plus three, just newly built, 14 infantry, two anti-aircraft, one fighter, one bomber. 127 has a sub, 115 has a sub, 114 has a cruiser. And that would be Russia turn one. Schultze and Crockett's house rule game number six, seven, seven.